Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to please welcome, but delighted to have her back on the show. I've had so many people saying, can you get her autograph? Oh, we want to come because she's here. And I'm delighted that she is. Mary J. Blige, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. Lovely to see you again. It's, uh... It is great that you're back. I've had so many people say, oh, can we come this week because Mary's here? We're desperate to see Mary. And you've done this huge, it's very successful tour of, of great arenas. Are the English crowds different to the American crowds, do you think, when you're playing to them? Um, I mean, the English crowd, you got to kind of earn, you know, for them to move. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, basically, it was earned. So, I mean, I got a really, really great response from the, they, the they, show out here. They were all moving here. I saw them as soon as they were Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything you're going to take anything back home with you, or anybody back home with you? No. no. I mean, except for like you know the things that I buy, you know, mm. stuff like that. But other than that, mm. Mm -mm. and uh, what will you do when you get home? Rest mm. for about two weeks, and I have to do this again. I have to tour again in the states again, but yeah. just rest. That's about it. What do you do when you rest? I mean, it might sound like a silly question, but do you sort of just lounge around in a chair? Do you do exercise? I mean. <laughs> Some, you know, some people walk. What do you do? I'm going to Miami, so I'm going to lay out in the sun and enjoy, you know, just eat and just rest, like really, really yeah. rest, but kind of stay on the bike, but, you know, yeah. do something. Now, you're, <clears throat> it's, it's a great album, and it's called No More Drama. Would you say that's a, a description of your life at the moment? I, I say I'm trying to make that a description of my life so that I won't, you know, have any more, you know, stuff. It's, it's not easy. That's why I say I'm trying to make yeah. it that. Yeah. <clears throat> can you remember, let me go back to the, what, can you remember the first time that you sang and you realised that it kind of, it was a thing that you could do? Yeah, I was about seven yeah. when I realised I could sing, I, I, was, I did a talent show when I sang Reunited yeah. by Peaches and Herb and I sang the man's part and the, the woman's part. That, that is hard, right? <laughs> yeah, but okay. I did it so, you know, I kind, that's kind of when I knew, wow, I got something here. Yeah. <clears throat> cool, and you did. Now, you are now really kind of one of the world's biggest stars now. So, I mean, it's kind of you've gone from strength to strength. What advice would you offer to any sort of people starting out now? Well, I would first say don't get caught up into, you know, the way you look. Please don't get caught up into the things you can buy. Please don't forget that you are a human being and that. And that's the thing that's going to keep you around for a while because people want to feel you as a human being. They don't want to feel you as this artificial made up person. They want to feel you, you know, as a, as a, as a real person. Mm. So don't forget that. Yeah. Very good point. Now, finally, a little bit later on, we're going to, at the piano with your singers, we're going to do um, the Misty Blue. Mm -hmm. What made you choose that song? It's a beautiful song. Um, Misty Blue is like one of the most soulful records you can pick, yeah. and piano, and all, all my girls can yeah, sing. Yeah. So it's like, Let's, let's go for it. Let's... We're looking forward to hearing that later on. Thank you very much. Mary J. Blige.